While talking to my granddaddy today who turns 98 in a couple days, I realized how important it is for veterans to be appreciated. So before Veteran Day even approaches, five reasons we should love our veterans. Five. Number one, a veteran is a perfect example that we are stronger than we think we are. Now, when we think of people going to the service, we think of Captain America and getting out of there and being huge and fighting and crawling. But understand, some people go to the service out of pure heart. No muscle, no stamina, all fatigue, frustration. But when they get there, they discover something else inside their body. So every time you see a person that said they served in the military, the Army, the Marines, the Navy, the Air Force, wherever they spent their time at, just know they are a direct reflection of what you could be in regards to heart, in regards to consistency, in regards to not quitting and never getting up and caring about somebody other than yourself because they put our freedom before themselves. So that veteran that you know, that you are in tune with, that you are related to, they are living proof that you are stronger than you think you are. Number one. Number two, nobody will break up a fight like a veteran. Now, I think I'm a cold person. I think I'm a tough individual. I ain't saying I'm a killer, but don't push me. So if I get into somebody in the bar, you better not say nothing to me. You let me fight. You let me go out with a bang. Unless a Marine tell me, Josh, calm down. Because me and all my illogicalness and all my testosterone and my big cojones, I know I don't want no problem with a Marine. I don't want no problem with nobody from the Air Force. I don't want no problem with nobody from the Army. Now, the Navy... Nah, I don't even want to be touched by nobody from the Navy because you can hit somebody in their throat and I just... Number three, without the veterans, this thing we call freedom wouldn't be so free. I will admit there's a certain aura of arrogancy to my life. When I walk outside, I feel like I earned the right to walk outside, do nothing, not duck and dodge bullets. I feel like I can go to the store, buy what I want. I don't got to explain that to myself. If I get frustrated, I feel like freedom of speech. I can say whatever I want to say. But I will admit, it's very rare that I stop and take the time to say thank you for every single soldier, man, woman that goes out there and fight for my freedom, that sleeps in those holes, that goes across seas and make sure I can sleep under this blanket that I call freedom. Without you doing that for me, past, present, future, I wouldn't be able to be as free as I am. I wouldn't be able to make this video for one for y'all holding me down without me knowing. So I'm going to blindly say thank you so much and I apologize for not constantly saying thank you. Number four, thank you for the discounts that y'all provide to us. Now, number four may be selfish. So what? It's part of my freedom. On Veterans Day, car dealerships knock half off. Barbecue sales be half off. You can go in anywhere and they say, just because it's Veterans Day, you can get it half off. If you and your partner feel like going out clubbing, wait to Veterans Day. That's when everybody going to come out. That's when the club owners say, buy the bar for like $500 so use all you can drink. That's when the women come out and get their twerk on. Everything is liable on Veterans Day because you guys and women decided to wake up and go serve and go fight for us. We get to use y'all discount. I'm not saying we deserve that discount, but uh, listen, it ain't us doing the sales and taking the deals off. It's the stores. Go get mad at them. I'm just, I'm just living, living the life you providing me, baby. And number five, thank you so much for literally putting your personal being away and putting me before you. And a lot of times we don't understand that people are leaving their kids home. They're leaving their husband and wives at home. They're leaving their families. They're putting their hopes and dreams on the line so they can go do this thing so we can do our thing out here. So on Veterans Day, when you get no sales, you see a veteran in front of you, buy their meal, pay for their McDonald's, pay for their Burger King, pay for their Popeye chicken, do whatever. I ain't saying going to no college dealership and take a veteran and buy a car. I'm not saying that. So don't let no veteran play you and say, Josh Price said you need to go buy me a car. I ain't saying that. All I'm saying is, if you're in a gentleman's club and you see that veteran with his suit on and he whatever, you buy him his next four or five dances, fellas. All I'm saying. All the veterans of the world, I salute you. Thank you. I appreciate you. And you are honored.